Right, this is the video that everybody wants to know about because it's the juicy stuff, it's the, the real stuff. People are gonna probably comment and say, I'm not doing this amount because it's not even a lot, but this is what we are running for the off season. So this is our starting point for off season. This will start to go up over time. Um, but again, you don't wanna start off on too, much, too many milligrams because again, you've got nowhere to go. So the first compound that we're gonna use injectables is testosterone at 700 milligrams. We're then gonna use 600 DHT, which is gonna be Masteron. And then we're gonna use 300 mg of Primo. Um, so that's the injectables per week. Then we're gonna use 25 milligrams of Proviron, which will be daily. This is gonna help with obviously E2, help make more the testosterone more bioavailable. Then we're gonna look at glucose management. So glucose management is obviously looking at our insulin sensitivity. That's gonna be 500 milligrams of metformin pre-bed. This is gonna allow us to utilize and partition the carbohydrates. We're also gonna use Lantus, um, which is a basal insulin. We're gonna take this in the morning. This is gonna allow us to utilize carbohydrates throughout the day. Um, the other thing that we're gonna use is an ABR. So one of the biggest things that we have to not overlook is um, our blood pressure. Things what we're doing is obviously gonna be very stressful for the body, water retention and so on. So Telus Martin is gonna be at 40 MCG. Um, that's gonna be pre-bed. And then the other thing that we're gonna use finally is gonna be GH. This is gonna be six IUs on a training day, doing three pre-workout and then also three pre-bed. And then we're gonna do four IUs on a rest day, two in the morning, two pre-bed. The final thing that I use on training days is the pump formula from Engineer Muscle. Rhino for discount, um, and that's going to be 500 milligrams of L-carnitine, which is going to help obviously lipolysis of body fat. And that is a pro cycle to start the off season. We'll probably run this until progress slows down, and then we'll start to add to it. But we can run that pretty much anywhere between 16 to 20 weeks. Get blood work done at like the eight week, 10 week mark, and see where everything's at. That'll then tell us if we can carry on. It sounds a lot of different. Uh, compounds but what the reason is being is because we're trying to stimulate different pathways rather than just all on the anabolics um, and the injectables looking at GH looking at glucose management these are things that people overlook and they'll, they'll come uh, cut themselves short in the uh, the whole process that is the the cycle if there's any questions on any of them compounds of why I'm using them just shoot me a DM and we'll cover them